today we are in Automobilista 1 at Taruma in the Copa Petrobras cars, which are kind of like British touring cars. I'm in the Honda Civic here and starting down in 18th. The AI is set to 100% and the aggression is medium. It's a challenging competition, I'll tell you that. Uh, my tires are probably the most major challenge I had with keeping them uh, in the right temp. I was overheating them quite a bit. So, um, yeah, let's take a look and see how it goes. All right, here we are, Taruma, Automobilist to one. Okay, Kevin, get ready. Starting 18. Let's go. Copa Petrobras cars, almost like a British touring car. Left side. Honda Civic. Hold your line. Still there. The AI is set to 100% difficulty and medium aggression, which I would consider high aggression. Um, All right. right. It's been a challenge to put together a full race in this. Right side. Hold your Maybe line. I'm being too aggressive. I'm also learning how to keep my tires cool, which is nearly impossible. My front tires. Lots of shunting and pushing. See if we can get it in front of this group before we have to take this left hander up here. Oh boy, I don't think so. V12. Right side. Clear right. On your right. Clear right. Right side. Hold your line. Clear right. How are the tires looking? Front right is warm. Car left. Clear left. The AI is doing a, about 108 laps, and I'm doing the best I've done is a 110, mid 110. So I might have to turn the difficulty down. I prefer that I would have to uh, turn the difficulty down than to run out of difficulty level, which is rarely the case, actually. You can usually get a sim to be quite difficult for you. I think it was just a 108.77. 108.77 for the leader. Be amazed if I can hold on to P10. The AI don't tend to have the same tire problem I have, which is they get really hot and I start to lose ground. Maybe there's a setup I could do to help with that. a nightmare. I have to 
seen the replay. Aero damage. All right, Kevin. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. There's a um, challenge in that it's like sometimes a lack of progression, progressive input that was a about when you're going to lose traction. I'm feeling just a little bit. It's not too bad. Oh, okay. That was a moment. This guy. Roger line, clear left. Far left. Clear left. Many corrections made there. My car feels like it's got some damage. On your right. Hold your line. Yeah, some kind of damage going on. Clear right. On your right. Clear right. Push now. The guy behind is catching. We passed this lap for Mauricio. 108.59. 108.59. I'm lucky if I'm going to get a 112 on this lap. Guy has just done a 108.92. One more lap to go. That lap was a 111.41. Tell me what you thought of AMS-1, if you've tried it out. I have very little experience with a lot of the cars in the game. I've only tried a few of them. During the time that AMS-1 was out, I probably was playing R-Factor 2 more. Getting snap oversteer now. On your left. Clear left. Car is super unstable. Took too many bumps. Let's try to hold this guy off. Clear left. Clear left. All right, we'll take that. That's the finish. Good drive. Yeah, all right. So there is a six-lap race in AMS-1 in the Copa Petrobras Honda. I hope these cars get brought into AMS-2. They'd be a blast to have in the game. All right. One last message before we sign off. I just want to say congrats to subscriber Matt from the Sim Racers Arms. He's a new grandfather. That's so exciting, man. All the best to your family and all the rest of you. Have a great rest of your day.